Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into the full moon energy for February 24th. Now, this full moon that's going to peak on February 24th will be in the sign of Virgo. The energy of this full moon is going to be very calm, cool, collected, very grounded energy, okay? You may feel a sense of order and clarity through this energy. If you feel a need to organize, things may be unorganized or chaotic, lean into that. This is a perfect time for cleansing the space, clearing the space, making space for new things to come in. So I want to challenge you guys to try and be more tolerant at this time and accept the imperfections of life. It's better to trust and let the flow happen. Not everything is going to go according to plan and that's okay. So let's dive right into Pisces energy for this upcoming full moon and see what exactly it is that you need to release. Most important message here for Pisces, Spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Eight of Pentacles, King of the Ocean, Ten of Pentacles is like money coming in, beautiful energy, money coming in, money flowing in the Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money. The Eight and the Ten of Pentacles, this is like getting a new job, a promotion, um, a second job, something along those lines, Pisces. Here we have the Seven of Wands is the energy surrounding you through this full moon. The challenge here is the Queen of Wands. How to transmute this energy is the Seven of Swords. The outcome of action is taken is the Magician and the outcome if no action is taken is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So here's what I will say. Pisces. Right now, kind of focused on money, work, career, and money is coming in, money is flowing in. The challenge here is there is a person here that you have distanced yourself from that has been deceptive in what they've told you. And you're, need, you're needing to be honest with yourself about this. This person has been blocking blessings from coming in, making you feel stagnant. Money hasn't been able to flow. Pay attention here. Definitely feel like there is a need to set boundaries with this person in regards to them stifling your energy. It's the only way that you're even going to remotely be happy. But you really have to ask yourself, is this person worth the sacrifice? And the energy that's being presented here, Pisces, is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's a person that you've already walked away from or that you've been back and forth with for some time. This person comes in, they leave back and forth. You guys really can never get on the same page. The reason being here, Pisces, is because they're not being honest about who they share their energy with. Okay, definitely feel a sneaky type of energy. For some of you, this is channeling a person that they have children with. So this person that they have children with keeps coming into the picture. And Pisces, this has come up in your readings before. So you're being called to ask yourself, is this person worth the fight? Is this person worth the challenge? Right now, I feel like there's a lot of sadness surrounding the situation. 
And if you continue to move forward from this, blessings are going to come in. You're going to meet the person that you're meant to be with. Lesson learned. Message received. If you keep entangling yourself with this person because of this perception of a false twin flame, you are going to stay stagnant. You are going to stay stuck. And so you have a decision to make, Pisces, when it comes to this person. Standing your ground is going to be important, especially if you want the blessings to continue to roll in. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you're interested in the extended version, guys, the link is going to be below in the description box in the extended version. I'm going to tap a little bit deeper into this person's energy and look at their true intentions. I also want to look at anything new coming in. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us over there. I feel like you look at this person as like they're your twin flame or this is your soulmate. This is a person that is spiritually meant to be in your life. And I'm not sure where you got that idea from. Maybe this person put that idea in your head. Maybe this was just something that you felt or somebody had given you the false perception of this. But I feel here, Pisces, there is a need to pay attention. Pay attention to this person. Pay attention to... How they're showing up and what they're not telling you okay especially if you're in this energy of feeling like this is your person spiritually okay that's okay if you feel that way just pay attention to how this person makes you feel your moon manifestation oracle pisces is the moon when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide, you know that it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have the power. You're being asked to use it. Tap into your intuition here, Pisces, and you will know the answer. So I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. You're needing to pay attention at this time. Not to what this person is doing, but to what they're but not to what they're saying, but what they're doing. So I'm gonna do 30 days of mindfulness. This is the mindfulness cards that I'm using. If you want to get in on the mindfulness journey with us. Feel free. You're more than welcome to join. Make sure you just subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload the videos. Imagine a calming scene such as a serene beach or a peaceful forest while taking deep breaths. Beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support found the message was helpful or resonating please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful how it was resonating you never know how your story could help another person if you're interested in the extended version the links are all below but if this is where i leave you pisces thank you guys again and i look forward to reading your cards again soon namaste hey guys so i just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that i recently created now, this is a must-have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads, as well as an area to journal your reading, along with journaling prompts, to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book is published on Amazon and is available now. 
So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading.